Welcome to the CCA MacBook Backup Guide. In this section, we'll cover backing up your files and folders. Backing up your files and folders to your new burn folder is fairly easy. We'll go ahead and open the burn folder we created in the previous exercise. There we are. As well as our home folder that we've gone through and cleared out of un any unnecessary files and folders. We need to simply drag and drop any files and folders to be backed up from our home folder to the burn folder. You can see as it goes in the burn folder, it doesn't make a copy of that folder strictly speaking, but it creates a shortcut, a place saver for when we burn it to a DVD. It also adds the total file size to the disk needed size. We'll do the same with desktop and with pictures. And we'll treat documents a little bit separately. If we open up the documents folder, you can see it, create, it encloses our Microsoft user data folder, which is full of emails and can be quite large. We'll be backing that up separately, so there's no sense in including it twice. We'll skip that. So instead of dragging the entire folder, we'll create a new folder in our backup, in our burn folder, called documents, and simply select the things from our home folder that we wish to include. Hopefully without misclicking and launching Word accidentally. We'll force quit that. So we'll go through and select each of the things we want to save. We have a few things here. Da -da 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 -da. All right. Then we simply need to drag those into the documents folder we created. There we are. And that's that. We'll close documents down in our home folder here and proceed on to music. You'll see that we're already needing a 3.33 gigabyte disk because I haven't done a very good job of paring down my files. If I drag music in there, the size jumps to just over 7 gigabytes, quite a bit too large to be included on a single DVD. Now I can simply go back and remove some of these and then pare the files down further in my home folder using iTunes or iPhoto. Or I can remove it from here. We'll, we'll delete that shortcut. It will not actually delete the music folder from our from our home folder. To reduce the file size, I can then simply create a new burn folder on my desktop. We'll call it something like Backup2. We'll open that up and drag my music folder into there. That includes all the files and folders I need for my backup, and now I can fit one on a disk of 3.36 gigabytes in size and one on a disk of 3.67 gigabytes in size. Both of these are well under the 4.7 gigabyte limit for DVDs, so I could burn both of these with just two DVDs. That's perfectly fine. And now it's time for another quick review. Drag and drop files from your home folder to your burn folder. Items in the burn folder can be deleted without removing the actual files in your home folder. If necessary, create another burn folder for excess files.